welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm going to the press night for Unfortunate, the untold story of Ursula the Sea Witch which is a parody musical. Uh, it's on at the Lowry and I've kind of been gifted my tickets by the Lowry for the press night. So it should be a fun night. I'm going with my brother again. Um, my parents are going to drop me off at the Lowry in a little bit. And yeah, it should be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So it's on in the smaller theatre in the Lowry. It's on in the Keys Theatre. I am in the stalls. I think I'm on row K, which is, I think, near the back, towards the back of the stalls. Um, I think I sat near there when I went to, um, was it Little Voice? I think I was sat near there for that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to show. I'm not sure how much the tickets for there are usually. Um, I think they might be around £38. I think that's what I remember when I was looking at buying some. I think they're around £38. But yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I have seen um, I have seen the trailer for it and I've also um, heard the soundtrack for it and it sounds really, really good. So I'm really excited. So I'll get back to you now once I'm on my way to the theatre. arrived at the Lowry now, just met my brother, where is he? There he is. We're just going to head in and um, we're going to go and collect our wristbands for the interval and yeah I'll give you a quick look around the theatre, we're in the small theatre today, the Keys Theatre, which is the one with the lovely views. So yeah, we're going to go and head in now. Okay, so we're just inside the theatre now, just going to walk up to the Keys Theatre and Go and get our wristbands. Now just gonna get our seat from row K, which is just here. I thought we were there. So it is about, I think it's about quarter, quarter plus, quarter two now. So it should be starting about 15 minutes. We're in our seats, we're in seat 11 and 12 on row K, and the view's really, really good, so I'll just show you the view. So this is the view from our seat, so it's a really good view. This is such a nice little bit, I'll just quickly show you. So it is the 
in Toronto and oh my god it is so funny. Really, really enjoying the show. If I could I'd go back again and see it again because it's it's just so good. My brother really loves it as well. He's actually said he's gonna see if his um husband will come back with him to see it again because it, it's hilarious. It's one of the best shows I've seen. It's really good. Okay, we've just had a drink in the press cup. Um I yeah, just had an orange juice because neither me or my brother drink, so we just decided to have an orange juice. But it is, it's all like cornered off for the press of it. So we're going to go and head back to our seat now. Dad's gonna pick me up and I'll let you know more about the film. Now the next day I didn't have time to review the musical when I got home because the kids were still awake and I had to get them to bed so yeah I'm gonna review it now so obviously last night I went to the press night but unfortunate the untold story of Ursula the sea witch which was at the Lowry as I said the tickets were gifted um, by the Lowry for the press night and it was on in the smaller theatre in the Lowry it's on in the Keys theatre I was sat on row Okay, seat 11 and 12 it was and the view from those seats were excellent because it is a small theatre I think you get a good view from most seats in there there was loads of leg room as well in those seats and yeah I really enjoyed it I had an excellent view so those seats in the stalls were £30 but you can get tickets as cheap as £15 so yeah it's definitely an affordable show to go to so the, so the show started at 8 o'clock it was a it was an hour for the first half, then a 20 minute interval, then 50 minutes for the second half. So it wasn't a really long show. Also, there was no merch or programs available for this show. Um, we did get given, uh, the press did get given a um, cast sheet so we knew who the cast were. But yeah, there was no program for this show and no merch either. And the show was absolutely amazing. I loved this show. It was so funny. It was absolutely amazing. So it's, been, it's produced by Fat Rascal and they're known for doing really funny um, shows. And yeah, I just really, really love the show. So if you don't know, this show is definitely not for children. It has an age guidance of 16 plus. It contains sex, swearing and partial nudity. So it's definitely 
not for children. If you don't know what Unfortunate About, what it does is it turns the story of The Little Mermaid on its head by telling the story from Ursula's point of view, making her out to be the hero of the story. So in this story, Ursula and Triton were actually lovers until Ursula gets banished from Atlantica by his father, King Neptune, for a crime that she didn't commit. Then years later, Triton comes to Ursula for help with Ariel as he needs to get her ready for the, for the throne. Um, so he comes and enlists Ursula's help and that is the basis for the story. So then it retells the story of the Little Mermaid from, from Ursula's point of view and it is a great, great show. It is absolutely hilarious. It's really funny. The songs in this are excellent. They're so funny. I really enjoyed them. One of my favourite ones is like the title track unfortunate really love that one but there's lots of really funny songs in this show the acting in this show is excellent the cast was amazing it's been so well cast it really has and this is definitely one of the funniest shows i've ever seen i would definitely go and see this again i'd see this many times i just really really enjoyed it and just found it hilarious my brother also came with me and he really enjoyed it he said he might go back with his husband to see it again because he thought it was so good and um, so i can quickly show you the cast list that i was given and um, there was a few understudies on so ursula was an understudy and sebastian was an understudy due to some cast illnesses um but they played the part amazingly you would never have known that they were understudies they were absolutely excellent in the parts so yeah, I'll just show you the cast list now and go through the cast. Okay, so this is the cast list that I was given. So playing Ariel, we had Miracle Chance. And yeah, she was excellent. She gave Ariel a um, Essex accent, which was really, really funny. I loved the way she played Ariel. Then playing Ursula for this performance, we had Ali Dart. She's usually Sebastian, but she played Ursula excellently. She was really, really good absolutely loved her performance obviously we didn't get to see robin grant she's alternate ursula um jack gray was scuttle he was really good had james mawson as eric and he was hilarious as eric he was so funny and then danny payne she is the understudy ariel and understudy sebastian but she was so good she was absolutely amazing i absolutely loved her performance I thought she was just really good as Sebastian, really funny. And they reimagined Sebastian as Irish, so he had an Irish accent and she just played it so great. She also played um, Vanessa as well, whoever plays Sebastian I think also plays Vanessa and she was great in that role also. Then George Whitty was Triton and I thought he was so good. He has an amazing voice, he really does. Um, so yeah, the whole cast were absolutely amazing. I loved them all. I thought they were all absolutely perfect. And then here's just some other information about the show at the bottom here. So unfortunately, it's on at the Lowry until Saturday the 10th. Um, if you can get a ticket, get one. It is hilarious. You'll have a great time. Um, I will link down below to the Lowry's website where you can buy tickets. I'll also link down below uh, the Fat Rascal website because they list all the places that the show is currently touring to. So I'll put that down below so you can see if it's coming to a city near you and if you can get tickets because I really recommend this show. If I could go again this week, I would, but I'm really busy this week. I don't have any more time to go. Um, but I also think my husband would have loved it as well. It's such a good show. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. I'd probably give it four stars. I'd like to give it five stars, but I didn't give some other shows which were slightly better than this five stars. I'd have to give it a four star. But it was, it was a great show. So if you do enjoy theatre vlogs and reviews, I do do a lot of them on my channel. I will be having... I will be having a Mrs. Doubtfire one coming up very soon. I'm actually going to see that today. Um, I'm going to see Dream Girls next week. So if you'd like to see any of those, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified as soon as those go up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.